The DRDO will start the developmental test of the Astra Mark II version in the first half of 2021. The Astra Mark II will be slightly longer than the Mark I variant, and it will come with an improved jammer resistance, and a dual pulse motor with thrust vectoring control to extract a maximum range of 180 km, which is 70 km more than the previous Mark I variant. Another 60 km range variant of the Astra system with a passive imaging infrared seeker is currently under development, and it will be ready for developmental testing from 2022. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and the Aeronautical Development Agency have completed initial ground trials of the Astra Mark I system on board the Tejas fighter jet, and majority of the integration work of the Astra system with the fire control radar and mission computer of the Tejas has also been completed. The Tejas will start captive flight trials of the indigenous air-to-air -air missile from December 2020, and will be cleared for the first test of the Astra air-to-air -air missile in early 2021. 467 exhibitors have signed up for the upcoming Aero India 2021, which includes 48 foreign exhibitors from 17 countries, and interestingly, France is leading the list of foreign exhibitors with the participation of 23 French companies, followed by 6 American companies, and 5 companies each from UK and Israel. Experts have said that China is likely to view the sale of Brahmo's system to Philippines with concern, as it also includes the involvement of its close partner Russia, while Russia is too sensitive when it comes to their falling defense exports, especially when Thailand, Indonesia and Vietnam have also expressed interest in the truck-mounted and air-launch variant of the system. Officials have said that Philippines will be supplied with the truck-mounted variant of the Brahmos system, after which Philippines might go ahead with the purchase of the naval version. Under a familiarization exercise for its pilots, Indian Air Force's Hawk trainer jets landed at the Kolkata airport today. This was a part of a routine annual exercise for familiarizing newly inducted pilots with the civilian airports, with an aim to prepare them for emergency situations. Hindustan Aeronautics is expecting orders for 23 units of Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopters from the Indian Army, 20 units from the Air Force, and 9 from the Indian Coast Guard, and the company is progressively trying to increase the indigenous content, which is currently around 60%. The government is planning to sell up to 10% stake in the Midani Group in the current fiscal year, and its shares are expected to attract investors, as it manufactures super alloys and special steel for use in defense space and nuclear sectors. India will soon launch an ambitious deep ocean mission in the next three to four months, that envisages the exploration of minerals energy and marine diversity, and currently the required approvals are being obtained for the futuristic and game-changing mission that will cost over 4,000 crore rupees, and will be piloted by the DRDO, Department of Biotechnology and the Indian Space Research Organization. Oh, my God.